Hello, this is Al from Open Source Channel, and uh, in this video today, I'm going to introduce you some of the uh, Crocoblox uh, plugins, the Jet Elements, Jet Menu. Then we got the uh, Tamps, Blocks, Reviews, and so on and so forth. Let, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you the uh, Jet Elements. This one does actually add some of the new elements to the Elementor, uh, the free version, the you know extra elements in the editor so without any delay let's go to the wordpress and um, here I already installed the jet elements to install it's very simple you just go to add new in plugins you upload choose the file then you choose the actual file jet elements press open and press install once it's been installed you will find the plugin installed here and it will be visible in your Elementor editor. Now without any delay let's go to the page and let's go and edit some of the actual page already made here or you can actually create a new one I already have. I'm going to click edit with Elementor. Now I already uh, got some of the elements I'm going to delete this one here and you can find the jet elements in the left pane here under WordPress in this case for me. There we go. This is what happens when you go and install the elements, the plugins. And here you got new features. You go from price list to portfolio to Instagram, countdown timers, for example. And due dates, you can choose any days you want for example and it tells you how many days hours minutes and seconds are left this is usually used for scarcity you know when you do uh, you want to sell something All right and of course you can have style you can have uh, auto so it will automatically adjust or you can have a uh, fix and you can choose the size and the you know the width and the height okay so let's go back here let's have another one here uh, let's go to the circle progress and as you can see uh, you can choose the percentage that you want and automatically does it percentage or absolute okay here are some of the settings this is the actual size of the circle you can go quite big if you want to, or you can go quite small. All right, uh, let's see how small we can actually do it. 100 is these, I think, yeah. Then we got the stroke width. All right, so you can actually create some good effects, all right? Logically, for that kind of a stroke width, you need a larger circle. Otherwise, it won't look good, really. And this is the other one, uh, the, the gray, in this case it will be the gray. This is the actual blue line. And if I do exactly the same for the gray outline, as you can see, it, then we got content. You can have the percentage, the number, show the thousands separated just in case you want a bigger number. All right, let's go again the style again you can choose the stroke uh, color as you wish let's go back and let's try another one here uh, here you can create buttons and this is the actual icon so you're going to choose the different icon you can choose this one here you can actually add any text to the label You can actually create the effect as well as you can see change to go right and also you can change the icon okay and we got the settings the hoover effect is not over effect all right but we can have a fade if you want to all right and the position is top right bottom or whatever okay you can use the icon uh, or if you don't want to use it just press here and it will go right 
it's quite simple to use the color it can be changed in style and are this all are the the functions and the labels as well you can actually change the color of the of the text and the typography and then we, as usual like anybody you know any other um, element you can actually have the advanced with the motion effects and so on and the background color let's go back and let's try another one here let's say image layout as you can see you got different like a portfolio you can create on this one here let's go and let's add some photographs here we got the items insert media again each image should be more or less uh, the same size to look pretty good otherwise they won't look right even though you can change some of the uh, settings to make it uh, look good but I think you you got the idea what I'm talking about here okay and this is how you do it So as you can see, and then when they uh, click on the actual image, it will expand in a light box, okay? And on each image, you can actually change the title and the description, the one you see here, and also the actual icon as well, okay? So uh, let's go back again and let's try another one. Uh, we can try a slider. Again, we're going to put three images on the slider. Number two. I mean, you can actually see what I'm talking about. Jet Elements really does give you uh, an amazing amount of elements that you can use to create beautiful websites. And this is just one of the many, as you can see here, many they have. This is just the jet elements. Uh, I would do other tutorials on how, well, they're not really tutorials, just other videos to show you all the plugins that uh, the Crocoblox have. Uh, next time I'm going to do a menu and blog so you can actually see how it actually works. So we've done three, I think. You can add many if you want to and again all this can be edited as usual through the settings you can choose the image you can go full or large it's up to you the style again full screen if you want to go uh, full screen as well there is a possibility that you press and you go full screen okay So again, let's let's do another one before uh, we wrap it up and uh, the progress bar. There we go. Uh, we got the bar. This is more or less. Let's see. Where did I put it? Let's put this one on top. There we go. Let me delete this so you can actually see it better this is more or less like the circle but it's just uh, a bar okay yeah you can have the icon you can change it the one on the top here or you can actually remove it if you want to and you just put a title again if you don't want the title you just want the bar all you got to do is just remove it and you got the bar for the color as usual you just go to style and yeah you can choose all the uh, the percentage you can go up to uh, from zero to 100 of course you choose the percentage let's do 75 and as you can see it goes then you got the advanced the motion uh, effect and that's how it gets in you can go from up and down you got loads of them to use for you know 
and let's go to well, let's try style here then we go the height the margins you can do it the background color and the box shadow if you want to as you can see by just clicking it it automatically creates it title you can choose the color of the title and how the percentage looks here okay let me have a look at the background color here this is the actual background if you want a white or gray or any other color okay let's clear it up you can change the shadow and so on and so forth the status bar I think is this one here you can change it from here just in case you wondered how you can change the color okay I'm gonna clear up again and that's it really uh, we're done with the jet elements I'm gonna see you for next uh, video where I'm gonna show you uh, other plugins from Crockerbox I'm going to leave this one here now this package came from the uh, I think I have this one from um, template monster but soon I will have the entire range from Crocker blocks all the plugins so I can show you each one of them uh, I'm going to install plugins well even though I wanted to do in add new so I know exactly what I'm going to upload next and I said, yeah, the next one is going to be uh, the blocks or the blog or, you know, then we do the jet menu and jet tricks as well. So I'll see you for the next video.